The ultimate goal of the high performance team in Ontario soccer is to assist players as they progress through the talented player pathway. As the senior manager of high performance, my main objective is to provide opportunities for talented players across the province. To make sure this is attained, I'm responsible for leading a team for creating the most objective player identification process for athletes U13 to 17, male and female. So my role as a provincial scout with Ontario is to help identify the strongest players in the province for the provincial product. We seek to help players graduate onto the next level of play, whether it's into the National Excel environments for male players, the Regional Excel environments for female players, or into professional academies. We also look to provide players the opportunity to go on to collegiate level and pursue scholarships so they can continue their education, but more importantly, stay in the game. Ontario Soccer, we're constantly looking for ways to improve scouting in the province. Currently, we're looking at more technology to be deployed in the system to create more objective data on players, as well as simplify the process for scouts through the deployment of an app in the 2020 season. Technology plays a huge role in scouting the Ontario players as we use uh, different scouting platforms, as well as laptops, iPads, to help us get the best possible player assessment. Creating a deeper player profile is so important, and technology creates a greater opportunity for us to achieve that. So what we do use is a performance management tool and this allows us to collate, aggregate and analyze the data that's collected over the course of the year. This allows us to get a snapshot of the players but also to be able to run comparatives on players year to year or even within seasons between players. And this is incredibly valuable when we're looking at screening to the top 100 players in the province. It's important for parents, youth athletes and organizations to know we do not pre-select athletes for the provincial program. Every year this process has begun anew and players are screened and tracked accordingly. Returning players who made the provincial team in previous years are automatically invited into provincial screening competition. Uh, we have open transparency when it comes to this. Players that were in the program in the past of being provincial players will get invited automatically back to the provincial screening competition. From there, it is strictly performance related. There is a very specific and detailed plan that we go about selecting athletes through the talent on location as well as provincial screening programs. I have a wide variety of qualified staff. Uh, their education could uh, vary from coach education, playing professionally, coaching professionally, or even playing and coaching at the international level. So in my time in Ontario soccer, we've worked on building a diverse team of staff throughout the province. Currently, we have five full-time staff that engage in the scouting process, as well as 10 contract staff, and two of which are specialists, specifically targeting the goalkeepers. As an Ontario provincial scout, we look at the four corners of soccer, that would mean looking at the technical and tactical components, how skilled the players are technically, their decision making. The physical components, their speed, coordination, mobility and power. Their psychological components, how quickly they recover from setbacks, their mental concentration in games. And finally, socio-emotional, their ability to communicate with teammates, their enjoyment of the game and their competition level. We're also looking at increasing our scouting pool so we have more staff to see more players throughout the province as well as improve their education and this is done on an ongoing basis with university outreaches and collaboration with experts around the world to improve our education.